Oh. Good morning to you. Did you sleep well? As thanks for lodging with us, you, we present you with one point. Oh. oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep my ledger. Then call me over. Oh. Come back again anytime. You're most welcome. Ah, oh, yes, I'll be right with you. Mm. You like to get your pony oh. points reward. Your reward for them is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes with a set and a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Oh. You can use it to attach to things and you get more things for Ooh. doing so. The horse guard fabric will be yours. Uh, it's a thing you can get in Hataino Village. We appreciate your patronage. I... Hmm. Huh. Well, first, I guess... Uh, hey, guys. Gals. It's me, pal. Last time... We got B.A. Baracus. Da 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 And this time... Uh... My plan, we, we've gotten so many quests just in the last episode. We got three quests. Go and delve into the underworld and, like, the uprising, investigate that. Um, go to one of Misko's treasures. Uh, and then we also bumped into the Lord of the Mountain, and he caused these beacons to glow all over the map. So we're going to be... I don't know what that symbol means. Oh, it's a well. Oh, Okay. Uh, yeah, so what we're gonna be doing, I think, starting off, starting off, I'd like to talk to some people. <gasps> this is how we're gonna start off. It's my favorite voice! from the Breath of the Wild LP. Hmm. Hmm. This voice was, I, I enjoyed doing it so much that it ended up not only being a character in my D&D sessions uh, named Cletus, but also it was a riff of it was the final boss's voice. I'm so excited. What? Oh, it's Kilton. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was a Garrow from, um, from Majora's Mask. I'm so excited. I didn't practice. I haven't practiced this voice, but I don't think I need to. We're fine. <laughs> you there, traveler. <laughs> Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but now it's... <laughs> mm, big brother. Kilton has a brother. Kilton has a brother. I don't even know how to handle this. What voice should I use? It's all too good. Actually, you know what? I literally just talked about two voices, so... Give me a second. <clears throat> it's no use. Colton. Please, it's, Im it's impossible, absurd even, to try and turn yourself into the legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. <laughs> you should be working on the monster collection with me, instead of chasing a silly dream like this. <laughs> I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need is to get my fingers on a bubble gem that I'm sure to turn into one. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog and it glows just like a Satori. Gah, but I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, 
Oh, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes, you remember all that treasure you collected. You could offer that in trade. What am I going to do? Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Gah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. The Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. <laughs> And then I read all those ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I would must find a bubble frog. A strange creature that loves dark caves and bl glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I, ha I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble, dro bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that? So nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Bah, I'm sorry. <laughs> But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such things. So if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear it. Okay. Here, here you go. That, that's a bubble gem. Mm. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. <laughs> it's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it. Now I can pr transform myself into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that will make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made you to look made to look like, just like a Bokoblin. So much so that even a Bokoblin would take you for one. <laughs> By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a Bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. <coughs> Qua, my body, it isn't changing. But, but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. And I'm on my- I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. And that means... More! I need more of them! And I just can't gobble them up one at a time. No, that will never work. I must collect all, lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother. I have decided to set out on a journey to collect... Bubble gems. <coughs> I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. <coughs> I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother. Thank you. Thank you. Traveler, I am grateful for your help but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. 
the next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. Coden, if you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collections of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime. Somewhere. The hunt for bubble gems is complete. <sighs> Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now, I have to be on my own way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Arkala. Hmm. But, dear traveler, thank you so very much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that, during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. Hmm. I will keep my eyes wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes. I will be going now. Wasn't that a bit of a trip? <laughs> Kilton has a brother. I Man, I love Kilton so much. He's just so... He is the the tingle of this game, for sure, uh, or of modern Zelda. It he's just so he's so wacky. He still has that that good old. Okay, I want to try shooting. Oh, I, okay. I need to remember. I, they don't drop straight down, so I need to I need to remember that. He, he's just wacky. He's a wacky in a way that Zelda. It's never been missing it. There's always that wacky character in Zelda games. I mean, Agatha, Tingle, um, the, eh, I guess kind of the shopkeep in, um, in Link's Awakening. Um, I mean, every character in Majora's Mask. And it's great. It's, it's just a unique, a unique, uh, sense of humor. And I'm always there for it. And, I mean, if, if you guys have stuck around here for a long time, you know that my... One of my favorite characters to voice is uh, is actually Tingle, and the Tingle voice isn't that dissimilar to uh, the Kilton voice, but it's also just a straight rip of uh, of Mr. Popo from uh, Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z abridged. It's just the same exact, oh, it's the same exact voice. But Kilton, oh, he's just something special. I love him. All right, where is? I almost had a panic attack. As, as I realized that my horse was gone, that BA was gone, but no, I don't have to worry about that anymore. All I have to worry about is him dying, which I, I think his health, his health is still tied to strength, or at least it was in Breath of the Wild, so I do need to be careful that he's as weak as can be. He will die pretty easily, so I need to keep him fed and topped off. Um, I also don't know if stables restore health. I don't think they did in Breath of the Wild, but I gotta check. Gotta check these. It looks like... Huh. Uh, that's kind of neat. It looks like uh, all, or almost all wells are locations in caves of some sort. Oh, wait. I mean, I can ascend here, but is... Okay, I, I can barely swim here. Let's, uh, let's try ascending and see what happens. <laughs> That's... Ah, uh, let's go back. What was the purpose of this? Huh. Odd. Very odd indeed. Oh. That was the purpose of it. That was the purpose. What is that? Ah! No! 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 Ah! Man, that looks that looked cool. That stinks. Okay, what are we actually doing? Kilton, I gave that. Don't ram me. Don't you yar me. 
Um, oh, man, there's so much, there's so much to explore and accomplish. How dare this game have stuff in it? But I, I definitely want to make progress. So let's let's set out on making some of the progress that that I said I was going to do. Because Kilton was not part of that. And I would like to I'd like to investigate these two things, if if nothing else. Uh, let's talk to this guy just because I'm I'm curious what use wagons oh. actually have. Towing harness of my dreams. Okay, but what do you use it for? Yes. Hmm? What are you What are you towing? Oh. Pull a wagon. Huh. Oh. Okay. Maybe there are side quests that make use of wagons. That would make sense. Yeah. You there? Are you fellow fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's a me, a beetle. If you forget to buy a beetle's sized pack, shape the pack is right here to you remind yeah, yeah. you. In this topsy turvy world, there's only one direction to go. From the right, because I'm my voice. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that. What have you got? Bright bloom seeds and lizards. Okay. I think I'm good right now, Beetle. And if you don't know why I gave him Mario's voice, which I will never do again, um, it's because I'm fairly certain he's voiced by Charles Martinet. He sounds, he sounds like Charles Martinet. Okay, what are we doing? Come on, BA. I couldn't. Oh, you know what those markers are? Uh, when we we uh, we communed with the Lord of the Mountain, those markers are for um those those markers are for uh what call it um bubbles can i no way can i put my horse on a raft okay there's no way i can put my horse on a raft right nope why did i do that why did i do that that was the stupidest thing i've ever done in my life Right after I was talking about not killing my horse, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't blame you for not trusting me. That was really dumb. If he dies, that's... Okay, if he dies, that would actually be really funny and completely subversive to everything that we've done so far. Alright, so we're heading, we're heading towards, um, I think, a shrine, and then also a glowing thing, and then also... Uh, I'm sorry, Fox. And then also... One of Misko's treasures. That's that's the plan. And that's, I think, a, a good... A good way to stall for time. Ah! No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Not yet. That time will come. We will explore things. We're exploring right now. I need to not meerkat. We're gonna go to that shrine first. And then we're going to go to the glowy thing. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the plan. And there's even a Korok right next to us, so we can we can always do that too. There's so much stuff. This game. That was one of my big. That was a critique I had of Breath of the Wild. Actually, is that um, in Breath of the Wild there are really only two rewards for exploration. Uh, let's let's be generous and say three rewards for exploration. There were, uh, there were there was loot in the form of like gemstones and stuff, which gave you money, and money was practically useless. Uh, but then there was also I know what I have to do here. There was there were gems that gave you treasure, which was effectively useless. I mean, Breath of the Wild had a serious money problem. But then there was also uh, let's drop a weapon here. Um, there there was also Korok seeds, which half of them were utterly worthless. And then I see what I got to do here. Oh, interesting. There are two things to do. And then there were also shrines and shrines past a certain point, started to get bland and boring. They all looked the same. Well, let's do that. 
they all looked the same. They all were pretty much the same. I mean, largely. There was no aesthetic to look forward to. Um, Korok seeds past the halfway point were worthless. And then the monetary rewards were also worthless. So really, the gameplay loop that they wanted you to get into... Strong construct, though. Um, it just didn't really work like they wanted it to. And... In this, and then also, whenever you did like a, you did a quest, you knew that it was going to, re it was going to result in money, m really money or a shrine, and so they were predictable. Whereas now, it feels like there are so many different like little offshoots and side quests. Some lead to shrines, some lead to bubbles, some lead to a brand new long like ongoing quest. Uh, some of them lead to rewards for your horses. And the the sky is the limit for them now. And thus, uh, yet another one of my complaints about Breath of the Wild is gone, has been addressed. It's been, at least so far, it seems to have been fixed. This reminds me of uh, one of the Twin Peaks shrines, which, of course, as soon as I say that... Oh, I know what I have to do. This is really weird, but I already figured out. Drop. One. Two. Oh, sorry. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hit this. Throw it. No! Set it down. <coughs> what was it saying? Yeah, so far, so good. I mean, uh, it, it looks like a lot of one of my big complaints about Breath of the Wild and the the kind of the sameness of it is is gone. Okay. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. We were we rewind that. It floats around very awkwardly. Yeah, yeah, we go. yeah. yeah. <laughs> open, open, yeah! Bing, bada, bing! That's how you do it! There are no more chests here because I got the chest. Then that's a wrap for this shrine.